pumping and population inversion. As we have already said, the transitioned electrons don't stay for longer time in the excited state. There are electrons of some substances or systems where they remain in the excited state for longer period. Such systems are called active systems or active media. These are generally compounds or mixtures of different elements. When electrons turn into active systems, their electronic energy levels are also modified and thus it acquires some special properties. Now, let us discuss them in detail. Now, let us consider an atom has three electronic states E1, E2, E3 in active medium. Generally, electrons exist in lower state called as ground state E1. Let us number of electrons in ground state as N1. As we have already learned, due to the process of absorption, when electromagnetic energy equals to the difference of E3 minus E1 are incident on atom, electrons jump from state 1 to the excited state 3. Due to the process of spontaneous emission, the excited electron in the E3 state remains for less period in order of 10 power minus 8 seconds. Usually, most of the electrons loses its energy due to spontaneous emission and returns from E3 state to E1 state. The number of electrons in this state is said to be as N1. But some of the electrons may lose very less energy E3 minus E2 and jump to state E2. The less emitted energy by electrons is called as thermal energy. This energy is absorbed by the medium itself. The transition or jumping of electrons from E3 state to E2 state is called as non-radiative transition or invisible transition. The electrons in this state E2 remains for longer period compared to state E1 in the order of 3 into 10 power minus 3 milliseconds. This electronic state is called as metastable state. The number of electrons in this state is said to be as N2. The number of electrons N2 in the state E2 will be increasing rapidly. At some point, number of electrons N2 has more number than the number of electrons N1. That is, N2 is greater than N1. This stage is called as population inversion. The process in which the number of electrons N2 in a higher energy state called metastable state of an active medium is increased to a value greater than the number N1 in the ground state. That is, N2 greater than N1 is called as population inversion. How could we achieve population inversion? Population inversion is achieved by the supply of sufficient and appropriate energy to the active medium from an external source. Thus, the process of achieving population inversion is called as pumping, induced and stimulated emission. Earlier, we had learned that electrons remain for longer periods in the metastable state that is 3 into 10 power minus 3 milliseconds. Now, let us assume coherent beam of light energy H nu is equal to E2 minus E1 incident from an external source of the active system. The light energy in the form of photon stimulates electrons in the state N2 to undergo transition to the state N1. 
the large number of photons of same energy is simultaneously emitted. Thus, the emitted photons have the property called as temporal coherence and this process is called as induced or stimulated emission. When an active medium is in enclosed state, multiple reflections of emitted light occurs, where stimulated emission dominates spontaneous emission. Thus, the incident beam of light gets amplified and results in output as laser, light amplification, stimulated emission of radiation.